Yeah, updates as we get more on that story right now, though, we got to talk about the latest with COVID because Governor Cooper is urging North Carolinians to stay prepared as this newest COVID subvariant BA5 becomes the most dominant in the state. And we are seeing just as we're got those cases climbing again, another tool coming potentially here to this pandemic arsenal. Doctors say the highly contagious strain is infecting many people. One of the best preventions is to stay up to date on vaccinations and boosters. But we also mentioned this new vaccine option on the horizon as well. CDC's advisory committee just signing off on Novavax this afternoon. And WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner has been following those developments and others for us. Joining us live now, Chloe, it sounds like this is going to be a different type of vaccine. Yeah, hey, Vanessa, the panel approved that two dose series for uh, adults 18 and older as an initial series. They did not approve a booster dose. Now, this is not an mRNA vaccine like the Pfizer and Moderna shots. So some doctors think it could be a good option to offer to some patients. They say having these different methods of vaccination will be important moving forward. The BA5 subvariant is fueling a significant amount of COVID to circulate in the community. But doctors say unlike past waves, hospitals are not as overwhelmed. Most of the patients we have in the hospital are either unvaccinated or have not received a first or second booster dose if they're eligible. Dr. David Priest with Novant Health says that proves how vital vaccines and especially boosters have been at preventing severe disease. That wouldn't be. No. But BA5 is better at evading the immunity of those vaccines. <laughs> Pfizer and Moderna working on new formulations to target the Omicron lineage. Receiving a booster now will not prevent you from getting one of the new formulations in the fall. And it will maximize your protection from severe disease throughout the rest of the summer as we deal with this uh, no longer wave of BA5 but a plateau. The number of COVID shots given in North Carolina has dropped off significantly week over week. The Novavax vaccine works in a way that's similar to the flu shot and could provide an alternative option for people who are uncomfortable with mRNA technology. Researchers looking into other delivery methods too, like a nasal spray. That's an exciting development and maybe not just uh, for people who don't like needles, but also people, you know, there may be a real um, kind of pathophysiology reason to deliver a vaccine for a respiratory virus with it too directly to the airway. So we would welcome that and be excited about it. The CDC director still has to give her approval for the Novavax vaccine, but that typically happens pretty quickly. Novant Health officials say that they did contact the state already to place an order for those vaccines when they arrive. Live in Uptown, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.